Welcome back guys, this is Mark from Mark's Aquatics and today I've got my daughter Mally with me and we're going to make a lamp for her bedroom out of this lovely piece of old wood which we found up in our woods it's a piece of ivy which is uh, wrapped around that existing piece of wood there which has died over time and it's left that piece of wood behind so we're going to remove that in fact we're not going to remove that we're going to leave that in because that's quite nice actually it's a bit of added strength we're going to cut some of it off we're going to run some cable through it and um, make a base and obviously but I'm going to get this one on the tools today you excited about using tools? yeah excellent stuff and um, always be careful guys and if you're going to do anything you kids make sure you do it like this with dad or with mum or with someone who knows what they're doing okay right to the workshop and we're going to start working out what we're going to do with this okay okay we're back on the bench we've just cut the piece of wood in half somebody here didn't like the noise of the saw which is fair enough we're not all um it can be a bit spooky with the saw so we've cut it in half now so Mally yeah. what's which piece do you like have a look around twist them around have a look this is going to be your lamp so um look for the nice shape we've got to stand it up don't forget it's going to be stood up so it's going to be up like that or up like that that one's quite a nice piece what do you reckon yeah, yeah? the way we cut that hopefully now it'll stand up by itself like that it's got some nice shapes to it so what the next plan is um we're gonna have to what are we gonna make next the yes so, okay yeah, yeah we'll do the base we'll do the bottom next i think that'd be a good idea okay then guys we'll get some wood okay guys we've just gone up in the woods up in my garden and i've got an old uh, an old piece of an old dead uh, birch tree here when i took a couple of limbs off last year so we're going to take a piece off of that footage there okay as you can see we both uh, we both drew, drilled and screwed that through the base there so that's all nice and secured on there now Molly did a little bit of drilling there she enjoyed did you enjoy doing that yeah that's yeah, good fun wasn't it yeah. it is good fun we like doing drilling right what we need now is some cable I found an old lamp which already had a switch on it so what I've done is I've just glued hot glue gun that in the top there and now Mally's going to give me a hand as you can see that's the back side so we're going to hide the cable now all the way down the back and we're going to just glue it on so obviously when it's in its place you're not going to see the cable and it's going to be all that way there Okay, so we're going to lay this down. 
Right, do you want to pick? I will say first of all, guys. If you're playing with these things, be seriously careful because that glue is very, very hot. And if it gets on you, it'll stick to you and carry on burning you. And it's not, um, it won't be very pleasant at all. So make sure you're always with somebody. If you're a young viewer, like Mally is now, she's going to give me a hand to stick this down. But I'll be with her so I can tell her what to do and where to put things and all that stuff. So, right, babe, you hold that. Okay. Now what we want to do is to stick that cable in there. Okay. So if I get my arm out of the way, put the glue gun nozzle in there. You probably need both hands. Both, yeah, both hands. And squeeze that trigger. You've got to actually look, look what you're doing. Come around this way so you can see what you're doing. If I give you a little hand, just a bit. Shift that finger. So it might be a bit stiff this, but uh, there it comes. You put a nice blob of glue in there, and then we wipe that off of there, put that down there. At the end of that's very, very hot. If we hold that in place for a little minute, give it a blow. That'll take some of that heat away from it quite hot for some time so I'll stop you there and then we'll carry on gluing these little spots all right guys that's all been glued in the top now all in there that's all done cables on it's been glued around the back so what we're gonna do now is um, get the top back on Put the lamp shade back on. I've got this shade which is off the old lamp. So that can go back on. I'll just see if I adjust you there. Just a bit better. So we've got to screw that on the top of there. That's it, that works fine. Just see, I thought there was a bit of glue in the threads there. But now we put the top back on there. And then we can glue this. That's different. Right. Screw the bulb in. My nipper's legged it upstairs, she has. She gets bored very quickly, as all kids do at nine years old. And she's back on Minecraft. Yeah. I'll give her a shout now and she can do the grand turning on of the lamp. Alright guys, managed to get her off the Xbox. Lamp's all done. Go on then babe, switch it on. Hey, hey look at that. Fabulous. You like that? Yeah. Going in your bedroom? Excellent stuff. That looks quite funky, that does. That's about an hour's work there. Bit of tree cutting, go up in the woods, find yourself an old piece of wood and make yourself a funky lamp for your fish room or your living room. I know it's not exactly Mark's Aquatics today but I did promise her I'd make a lamp with her and I thought I'd just film it so it might give you guys some inspiration to go out and build one yourself. Right guys, love you all, you're all stars and I'll see you on the next video. Say bye. Bye. Bye bye. Just me and my guitar.